This is Trends Travel and we love to travel. So join us as Slow takes us to Nisner. <laughs> The festivities for the Pink Lurie's Festival and Mr. Gay World kicked off to a spectacular start in the town of Neisner. But before all that excitement, the delegates and the media were welcomed by the town's mayor and founder of the event in a quiet, intimate ceremony. Um, then one of the greatest things about our town is that we embrace diversity um, and accept, uh, accepting people and their diversity. Um, and I would like to quote Nelson Mandela that he once said, it's not our diversity which divides us, but it is our ethnicity uh, or religion or culture that divides us, divides us. Since we have achieved our freedom, there can only be one division amongst us, between those who cherish democracy and those who do not. Great and Eisner have long proved that we embrace, that we chose democracy and that we embrace diversity. This area has a lifestyle choice for the LGBTQ plus community in South Africa. We can tell you that the first gay couple that got married in South Africa comes from, they stayed in Neisner. They've since moved on, but they stayed in Hookville. The very first gay couple that adopted um, uh, children in South Africa, they stay very close by. So we, as this area and region, really embrace the LGBTQ plus community. Neisner is an in energy. It's an, it's an, it has an energy that emanates from many things, it's forests, it, it's beaches. Um, and I really want you, in the very short time that you're here, consider Neisner as your home away from home. This is a milestone for, for the Mr. Gay organization. It's our 10th year. And um, it didn't, it wasn't as easy as you might think it was. It's, it's been, a, it's hard. It's a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of patience. And the uh, competition is still growing. Mr. Gay World is a platform. It's a platform to welcome gay men from all over the world to come together and share the stories, learn from each other, and then go back to their countries and apply what they learned here. Also, um, uh, just one thought about Mr. Gay World. Mr. Gay World is not about wanting to be someone. Mr. Gay World is about wanting to do something. And with that, it uh, comes a lot of responsibility. And also, Mr. Gabriel wants to remind everyone, every, all human beings on this earth, that we do exist. We want to create awareness. We're here, we're just like anybody else. So by that, with having Mr. Gabriel a platform like this, we remind them. And also, with Mr. Gabriel, we want to break into mainstream media and teach people, educate people about it the LGBTQ plus community. It's, creating, it's about creating awareness, and we also are enablers. We enable education to all sorts, all walks of, li all walks of life and everything. But also, Mr. Gabriel's like uh, to create an ambassador. The delegate who was to shine above them all was one who displayed characteristics of leadership and poise, one who could articulate his thoughts and be an inspiration to his peers, and most importantly, a delegate willing to push his limits and expand his comfort zone, one who would be willing to share education and information with people from around the world.
a spectacular event that is a must-see. We will be there again in 2019.